I can think of no better tool for enabling a person to feel like they're exploring another environment than virtual reality. VR and AR is fundamentally changing the reality of what is capable for us as humans. Human beings are already natural explorers. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. We explore environments on Earth just by being present in them, just by walking around in them. But when we try to explore another planet, we're often reduced to peering at pictures on a flat screen and trying to piece together what the environment is really like. So there are physical limitations of how far we can travel, how fast we can travel. But when we go to virtual reality or augmented reality, we can transcend these limitations. For example, the space station, we only can fit about six people or so at a given time. Now, with the capabilities of virtual reality, we can take hundreds of experts and put them in the same space to help these astronauts solve these really complex problems on a daily basis. All of the data comes from cameras and sensors on board our spacecraft. We bring it together and build models that we can explore as naturally as a place on Earth. We're using the Microsoft HoloLens to bring our scientists closer to Mars, giving them a better contextual understanding of what they're studying. Right, they put on these glasses and all of a sudden their office becomes Mars and they can explore it in a much more natural way. So Mars, it's five to 25 minutes away by the speed of light one way. So that means that we're not able to send an instruction to a robot and have it instantly do what we want it to do. In fact, we only hear from our robots about once a day because it's very complex and inexpensive to communicate to Mars. So we build a system that uses virtual and mixed reality to allow people to explore a model of the Martian surface that's reconstructed from the data that the rovers have returned. Being able to mix Mars into their offer space so they can walk around on it and make judgments, pick out scientific targets in just a fundamentally natural way. When we're exploring that model, we don't have to worry about how far Mars is away because it feels like it's right there with us. And then when we decide what we want to accomplish in that environment, we send a day or, or more of instructions to the rover that it accomplishes for us. And then we get new data to begin the process again. 